Epic Streams, the nonprofit revolutionizing the way we do business, housing many brands under our name. Glenn's Era Designs, 8890, Nocturnal Images are some. Any development that is made by these brands will be featured on www.epicstreams.com. Just for utilizing our brand's products, you will get your company freely promoted on the nonprofit epicstreams.com forever. Link in the description below to order our products today. What's going on, everybody? It's your homeboy, Popular Video Games here. Chilling out, Max, now doing my thing. We're going to be talking about Attack on Titan. We're going to be talking about the Warhammer Flying Titan versus the Beast Titan. Let's get into this. Now, we do know that there is a family in control of the Warhammer Titan. Apparently, this Titan is extremely powerful because this was the first Titan that actually revolted against King Fritz's rule. Now, with the Warhammer Titan, the War Tower can fly, of course. Now, him fighting the Beast Titan is actually inevitable only because, let's be honest here, they obviously do not like each other. The Titans do not like each other. We've already seen the Beast Titan knock out Reiner. Let's be real here. So it's not too unorthodox to see that the Beast Titan and the Wing Titan would get into a little bit of a scrap before they head back to Paradise Island. Now, why the Beast Titan and the Wing Titan would be such a great battle? For one, the Beast Titan is able to literally have that pitching arm. He's master trajectory. This dude was able to grab some shells and he was able to hit all of the ships that were miles away in the ocean. Ocean, he was able to take them down easily now with that immense ability he can easily knock the wing titan out of the sky he can easily do that because he is the master once again of trajectory now with the wing titan being on the ground he can easily call upon the titans that he's already injecting his spinal fluid in and then they can go and start to weaken the wing titan a bit now the wing titans of course wings are going to be strong as living fuck so he can easily decapitate those titans what that could be used for is a diversion so the Beast Titan can line up another shot. The Beast Titan's main, I'll say, prowess is that pitching ability. The further away that Wing Titan is from the Beast Titan, the harder time is going to be for the Wing Titan to stay alive. Now, with hand to hand combat, we see that he is able to easily one shot Reiner. Now, Aaron is already extremely good at Annie's art. Let's be honest here, like 100% here. Aaron could possibly stand a chance against Annie before, of course, Aaron couldn't even touch Annie. Annie is just a beast at what she does. Now, we see that Rhino was easily able to get one-shotted by this Beast Titan, which means that the Beast Titan has to possess some immense prowess and fighting capabilities. Now, we do not know anything about this other family and how good their fighting capabilities are, but let's be real here if they've assisted marley in the past and they are the only eldians who actually live a lavish life like these dudes living it up like they don't give no fucks that means that titan has to be far more powerful than anything we have ever seen before that means that their hand-to-hand -hand combat might be up to par well let's be real here they're eldians Annie learned her fighting techniques from an Eldian father. Those are Eldians. Who's to say they are not practicing the exact same fighting techniques and they don't have somebody in there who's even better than Annie. And this is the best one we've seen. Let's be real here. Guys, spin the comment section below. What do you think about this? I want to hear what you have to say. Now, all in all, this would be that's why it would be an amazing battle because those two Titans seem like they would have both advantage and disadvantages at the same time which leads up to equal footing peace out and talk to you later